Good morning, members. I hope you're all having a great day. Happy Friday. Uh, we're coming to you pre-recorded from the greens of Philadelphia Country Club, uh, which by this time you all have been, or those of you who golf, have played on. Today we're going to do a little functional Friday workout. Uh, I understand yesterday's workout was probably very difficult for some of you, and for others you may have done the whole Murph, in which case give yourselves a round of applause. And uh, you know we're going to keep working on that. Today is a functional Friday workout, but uh, deloaded a little bit just to kind of get just to kind of get us back into the habit of moving and uh, get the blood flowing again and get all those nutrients into our muscles. So. We feel a little bit better, we're not as sore for the weekend, and we can enjoy the offering that we have coming up. So what we're gonna do is start off with some lunges. So again, it's up to you whether you wanna do stationary lunges, right? Touching all the way down to the ground, and then all the way up, pressing through that lead leg, right? You can do alternating lunges, right? Walking lunges, boom. Alternate, okay. You can add some upper body in there, right? Okay, so after we do our lunges, we're gonna go ahead and do a high plank and add a torso rotation. So I'm gonna get into a high plank position here. I'm gonna twist up and out towards the sky, pushing my hand in for the ground. All the way up. Okay, so after we've done our push to external rotation, we're gonna add some step ups in there. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to use some steps here onto the golf course. Now we'll start off with a little step, right? And bring that knee up. Focusing on keeping the knee over the foot, staying nice and balanced, right? If you want a little bit more of a challenge, you can take a big step, right? Again, so I'm, I'm really loading this leg up, trying to keep the knee over the foot. All the way up, squeeze the top and then slowly shoot that leg back down. If that is the option you're going for, please be careful and watch where you're planting your rear foot because it could be a little dangerous. And we wanna have safety first. Working out doesn't really help us if we injure ourselves in the process. Uh, so we've done our step ups. After our step ups, we're gonna go ahead and perform some rows. So if you have a weight or a table, you can do inverted rows on. Uh, you just wanna get into that row position, pick the weight up, Tuck the elbows into the side, creating a nice stable scapular retraction, right? So, hinging forward at the hips, pulling the shoulder blades all the way in, or if you have a table, pulling your chest all the way up towards the table, tucking the elbows tight into the side to create that nice row. After which, we're gonna go ahead and pick up a weight, or a pet, or a kid, or gallon of water, really anything that has a little bit of weight to it, and we're just going to go for a walk, right? We're going to walk about a quarter mile to a half mile, and uh, you can, the goal is to just not put down the weight during that whole time, right? So you can switch arms if you'd like, you can hold it on one arm the whole time, it's really up to you. Uh, I encourage you to try this out, uh, be safe, and have fun. Have a great workout, and we'll see you soon. Thanks.